Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March, 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, and it really is. It is monumental and idealistic, and it moves in a direction of feeling that much more connected to bringing that energy of inspiration to your daily life. So there's a lot to talk about here and it starts early in the month, right around the fifth and sixth of the month, depending on where you are on the planet, you wanna give it a day on either side, but that really is when three big monumental things are taking place. So one is Mercury retrograde. Mercury will retrograde in a part of the sky where there will also be a new moon under the same sky. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with uh, your creativity and your creations. It has to do with children you want, children you have, and it has to do with being happy, living a life that feels as if you're more connected to the things that you're passionate about. And it is a part of the sky that has to do with taking risks, taking a chance, taking a gamble, if you will. Now, what is a key characteristic of the Mercury retrograde is that Mercury will be dancing with Neptune, which means that not a whole lot of things are gonna be a lot of clear, okay? Uh, it's gonna feel a little bit like just when you think you know the answer, you actually may not. You may really believe something and be carried away on that wave of belief only to realize that things may actually be different. So it's important to be mindful that um, especially where it comes to things where you're taking a chance that at least for this month where possible if you know that you're trying to take some calculated risk um, strive to try and do that a little bit later as we get into next month it can feel this month like a big opportunity too good to be true does show up or comes back around in some way of course, you always want to honor what you feel and where you are, but it does look like some key details may be overlooked that may end up being important. And this idea of a new opportunity uh, becomes emphasized because of the new moon in the same part of the sky. This new moon is happening hand in hand with Neptune, but it is also speaking in harmony with Mars and Saturn and Pluto, adding a lot of power, a lot of determination, a lot of drive. And so for some of you, this can be a time where uh, you may be particularly fertile. And so you want to be mindful of that if that is an energy you want to work with. Where you might want to be careful is if it is that you are wanting to undergo, like for example, some procedure in order for your fertility to be more successful. Um, that Neptunian connection uh, does suggest that you may want to pace yourself a little bit with that. I would also advise with a month like this, um, if it feels as if uh, there's an ongoing matter with your child, for example, uh, just when you think you know the answer, it might actually be something different. So where possible, um, you know, huge, decisive kind of decisions about your child's future, if you can pace yourself just a little bit, once we get into next month, things look a whole lot more clear. But I will say this, the universe is abundant. The universe is abundant. Opportunity does not come only once. That is just not true. There is always opportunity. There's always more opportunity. And I do think that now more than ever in our world, we are so much more empowered than we have ever been as human beings. And so if it feels like something's coming up and you're feeling that sense of really wanting to tap into it, Again, trust yourself, of course, above and beyond anything else, but where possible, strive to pace yourself. Where possible, try not to sign any contracts with uh, energy like this, with that Mercury retrograde, because there are details that will be overlooked that may end up being very important, especially once we get to the very end of this month and into next. The other big thing happening this month under the light of the new moon is Uranus changing signs. Last year, in the middle of the year, you got a little bit of a taste of Uranus moving into your opposite sign. Well, it is gonna be early this month that Uranus comes back around, moves into your opposite sign for a nice long stay for the better part of the next seven years. So you will have lots of time 
uh, to enjoy and to bring awareness and to bring a sense of authenticity to your partnerships and partnerships of all kinds are covered here. I spoke a lot about this in the Uranus special horoscope and I will try to link to that YouTube video in the description below. But having said that, the fact that we're having these very important occurrences, uh, part of the sky lit up for you that has to do with matters of heart. Yes, love is covered here as well and I'll talk about that just a little bit later but having to do with what it is that you're desiring in every area of life. And then we've got your partnerships awakening, new people striving to come in who awaken a sense of an authentic voice, authentic expression within you. Well, what it tells me is that a part of you getting in touch with what it is that's really gonna make you happy, it's gonna involve other people reminding you of that, especially with a month like this. And where it comes to other people, some of their behavior may not necessarily be uh, predictable. <laughs> That's how Uranus likes to operate, but it will be the sense of crystal clarity into yourself that will ultimately put you on that pathway that you're truly desiring this month, which is to live a life that feels more in alignment with the things that you are truly passionate about. Now, as we move later into the month, right around the equinox, which is the 21st, happy equinox to everybody out there, we're also going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with what is happening sort of behind the scenes, underneath the surface. It is a particularly quiet part of the sky. So this has to do with what's happening on a level of soul and psyche and spirit. Uh, it can indicate a time when your dreams are especially vivid, but it is a full moon. And this is a full moon happening at the very beginning of its sign. So there's a sense here of awareness, of illumination, that in some way allows you a fresh start. And so this can be a time when some uh, something is revealed to you. It could be uh, something that you weren't aware of before, whether it's within yourself or in another person. Uh, it could be something that previously was a secret. It could be something that someone's been doing on your behalf, something good that someone's been doing that only now you become aware of. But in some way, the awareness in and of itself facilitates a sense of a brand new beginning. Now, I would also add, as I said, your dreams are gonna be really vivid, and this is the kind of full moon where you literally could have a dream and wake up and feel different, feel like in some way your energy has shifted in the best possible sense that allows you to feel that much more excited and enthusiastic about your future. Where it comes to matters of love, this month is a powerful one. That is thanks to the new moon and that Mercury retrograde in a very romantic, passionate part of your sky. And of course, the Uranus in your opposite sign, uh, changing the way that you understand partnerships. Now that's a long-term journey, but at least for this month, we've also got Mars in your opposite sign as well bringing a sense of determination to align with people and need to spend time with people as well. Now that Mars is gonna be reaching out in harmony with Saturn, in harmony with Pluto. These are supremely harmonious connections. It looks like a powerful month for you where it comes to love, partnering with new people or fortifying, transforming the love that you have. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, uh, I'm brought to that Mercury retrograde. I'm brought to the Neptunian energy that is in the air with the new moon. And what it suggests is chances are you are one of the signs most likely to feel carried away on an impulse, on a spur of the moment that might even feel very passionate, but certainly feels very filled with hope. You can enjoy it. This can be a very fun time as well. However, there might be some details that aren't necessarily very clear in the moment. And so if you can stay in the moment, that's gonna be the best thing. Uh, anyone new that you do meet, you may not be seeing the complete picture about them just yet. However, that will be revealed, particularly once we get to the end of the month and into next. But it looks like there is a determination there to uh, partner up. That's what happens when Mars is in your opposite sign. And as part of this, with those Plutonian connections especially, you may be having a truly passionate moment with someone new that you meet now. 
For those of you who are getting to know somebody, now, whether you're getting to know someone or you are in an established bond, you are one of the signs that needs to be mindful that when Mercury goes retrograde in the part of the sky that he is, um, what happens is sometimes breakups can happen. However, they don't stay broken up. They tend to be rooted in miscommunication or misunderstanding. And so it may take a little bit of time to work through that, especially over the course of this month. But by the time we get to the end of the month, things are gonna look very different than they do, especially in the early part of the month. So at the end of the month and into next month, it's gonna to start to look a lot more clear. And so if it feels as if there are you know, any kind of friction or any kind of uncertainty, if it feels like someone's kind of disappeared or circumstances showing up for them, uh, just know that there will be a chance to understand more deeply that does show up for you just a little bit further down the road. If it is that you are getting to know somebody this is one of those months that can be very passionate, that can have you feeling more bonded with this person, more intimate with this person as well. The connection between Mars and Saturn does suggest that you're moving in a direction of greater stability. Even with the decidedly unstable energy of Uranus, that may take a little bit of time to really kick in and make itself more fully known. However, this does look, as I look at the sky, like an empowered time on your behalf where you are feeling that much more like you know this person and that you are being known by them. For those of you in an established bond, this can be a very powerful time, especially with those uh, connections that Mars is making with big power players. The thing though is that, especially with Uranus uh, settling in now, the relationship is going to transform. You are going to experience that this month, most powerfully around the full moon that takes place. That is going to be a time of illumination into yourself and into each other. And the relationship in some way must evolve if it is going to last. And it has to transform, become more honest, become something more. Now, even if you're starting this month feeling like you've got a great relationship, I'm so happy for you about that. Um, if you're feeling that as you're starting this month, that's great. However, it is still going to be a time when in some way the two of you are ready to be more deeply honest with each other, uh, ready to feel a certain fortification and intensity of the bond that is gonna show up for you at this time. And where it is that there are, however subtle or small issues, uh, they are gonna be something that comes up for at the very least consideration but part of what contributes to the evolution of your relationship. Ultimately, you're moving towards a more equal, more balanced understanding of the partnership that you are in. And this is a month that kicks off that process in a very important way. You add to this the commitment energy of Mars speaking with Saturn. Well, this can also be one of those months that decides the future of a relationship and can solidify already strong bonds. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I do love that very fun energy in the early part of the month. That Mercury retrograde, that new moon, it's gonna give you a desire to actually enjoy your life more. And as part of that, you'll be welcoming in more joyous moments. You are one of the signs, I would say the sign that especially needs to be mindful of alcohol, especially around this time or you know anything that you do to let loose, you may end up being a little bit too much and feeling like uh, some regret the next day. And so in order to prevent that, it may be a good idea uh, to be a little bit mindful there. But for all that, this can be a time of truly spiritual fun of real enlightenment that helps you to feel like your life and your journey ahead is that much more blessed. And it is also illuminated by your own understanding of what it is that you truly need. And that is a type of clarity that can only arise from soul and from spirit. But once it does, once you see it, once you know it, it can't help but move you in that happier, more prosperous, more joyous direction that you are meant to go. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. 
Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, including the Uranus special horoscopes, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.